Hey guys, take a minute to show the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your AirDrop if you can AirDrop from one iPhone to another or another Apple device. Now, in this video, we're going to break down the most simple things that you need to know and some more advanced things when it comes to AirDropping. So if you're having issues for some reason, can't AirDrop by the end of this video, hopefully that will be fixed. So let's dive into it. First thing is first, whenever you're doing an AirDrop, right, you simply go ahead and select a video, photo, whatever you want to airdrop, right? Simply click on that and then you hit that airdrop button and then the other phone here will display here or a device, for example, as you can see, iPhone or MacBook, and you can simply click on that. It will go ahead and send it over to them. Now, let's say what if that device or thing isn't showing up on the other device. Now, the method that we're going to say, you want to follow on both devices because it could be either device that's impacted. So. First thing first to do on both devices is you're gonna go ahead, pull down the top menu here, put it in airplane mode, just like that for about a couple seconds and then turn off airplane mode. What that does is just does a quick network reset of things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, which needs to be enabled for your airdrop to work. And then same thing, you know, do the same thing on both devices here. Other, other way you can do is go through the settings here and then again, now you wanna go ahead and Things like Bluetooth, you want to go ahead and turn off, turn on. Uh, after that, you want to turn it back on, right? Just like that, just resets the Bluetooth here. Wi-Fi, same thing. Turn it off and turn it back on. Helps as well with the reset of both of the his devices. And then also you can do airplane mode in the settings here, just like that. Turn it on and off. Again, turn off and on. Kind of resets the network or both of the phones troubleshooting that thing. The other thing you also want to troubleshoot on both devices is if you have personal hotspot turned on, you want to make sure that is turned off as well. If you have a personal hotspot on, you'll see it in the menu up here. When you press on this, it will show up as a personal hotspot, which if we click on this and hold it down, as you'll notice here, personal hotspot is turned off. You want to make sure personal hotspot is turned off on both devices. Again, you simply click on this and then it will pop up just like that. Again, now let's move on to the next thing. You'll notice here, there's an airdrop option, right? It's on by default, but if you click on this, it actually gives you another option for settings, and that is airdrop, how you receive airdrop on devices. So by default, how airdrop works is that when a phone is within range and it's in your contact, so if you have a device next to it, their phone number or email, whatever it is, has to have to be in their contact or both of the devices that allows the phone to know okay these are trusted devices they can do airdrop but if it's you're trying to airdrop your device for example that hasn't been in contact where it's not in each other contact you want to apply this option where it says for which is basically for everyone for 10 minutes this temporarily allows the airdrop to happen on the device for 10 minutes for anyone so it doesn't have to be on the contact or anything and that will help you with it as you can see here airdrop for example on this one is turned off we want to check that and then we can do everyone as well here again if you're on that that will kind of help both of the phones again make sure that they get airdrop to each other and show up on each other's side whenever you're looking to do airdrop as well. So this can also be found in your settings. So if you go into settings here, for example, on this phone here, we're going to do general and then airdrop. You'll see those options available here on this phone as well. We'll go to general and then airdrop. You'll see that option as well. You can go ahead and pick one of the options. By default, you want to keep it contact only so that you don't have any random person trying to airdrop you anything. But when in the case that you're troubleshooting, do it for everyone just so you can you know see how the airdrop if it helps work now let's move on to the next thing the next thing you want to do on both of those devices is do a force restart so force restart will not delete any data or video or any photos media any information that you have it basically will reload the phone and give it a nice fresh clean slate restart and you know fix any minor software that issues that you have so on iphone 8 and above or in your newer devices you're going to do is this method here which will show you what you're going to do is now you're going to do it for both devices obviously uh, but you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side button on the right hand side just like that 
and now you're not going to slide to power off because that will be the regular turn off you're going to keep on holding that big side button until you see the screen go completely black and then wait for the apple logo to reappear that's just like that now it's doing a force restart again that's simply press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold that side button on your other hand side right here as you can see just like that you do that with both of the phones again reloads both of the phones they go completely allows to do a fresh restart again solving a lot of issues not just airdrop issues generally the, one of the most go-to solutions that apple recommends and after you do restart it try doing airdrop and hopefully that works now if that doesn't work the next thing you want to do is go into settings here this time in settings you're going to go to general and then go down here where it says transfer or reset iphone you're going to click on that and this time you do the first reset and this time we'll do a network or reset here just like it says over here so you're going to do the network reset but before you do that what does network reset do well basically network reset basically deletes anything related with the network itself so it resets all the settings like wi-fi passwords if you had bpn set up uh, all of that so make sure before you do this you are sure that you, those things are fine to remove like your saved wi-fi password for different wi-fi if you had set up personal um bpn or something like that or company bpn that those things could get erased but it helps kind of resolve any network related issue because the way bluetooth work or well, airdrop works through bluetooth and wi-fi you want to make sure that this you know when you do that reset you want to make sure you're fine having those things removed you can set up later of course but this will not delete any data or video or photos or any of your apps anything like that it's just the network related settings now once you have done that and it's not working it's finally time to do the most famous thing Apple recommends when it comes to any issues is updating the iPhone software to the latest version to make sure there's no bugs or glitch that is causing this problem to appear and to do this again we're going to be in settings again just like this we're going to general and the software update and make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or cellular data and then make sure you see if there's an update that needs to happen you update it here you might be able to see let's take a look on this phone right you want to make sure you update both of the phones you want to check here in the software update as you can see this one has an update we're going to make sure maybe both of the version are about the same so we'll go ahead and download install the update and update both of the phones and hopefully by now all of these troubleshooting methods that will tell you help you fix your airdrop issues between both of these devices and if this video helped in any way please make sure the like and subscribe button also we want to hear from you guys which solution worked or if you found a better way make sure to leave it in the comment section for everyone to see thanks for watching guys see you guys next time